Hi, I'm Michelle with Birdie Bloom, and today I'm going to talk to you about these two numbers. And what we have is a scooter, number, uh, style number 9893, and a small side pack, which is style number 9978. And I'm talking about both of them together because I see these bags on the market um, where people call them one another. Mainly, this bag ends up getting called a scooter, and it's not a scooter, it's a small side pack. So, um, if you're in the market for a small crossbody bag that has like, you know, this cute turn lock, I think these are really great choices, and I'm going to go over both of them for you. They're both very similar in size, that's the similarities here, both similar in size, both have the front turn lock, and, uh, they both have sewn in straps, okay? So straps are not uh, removable, but there are some differences. So we're gonna, gonna take this charm off. I am so into charms recently. Started my collection. And it's funny, I spend more in charms sometimes than I do on bags. Crazy the a little emoji, I think this is a flirt or a winky, I don't know. So it's a discontinued one, so I bought it off of the resale market. But this is a, a white scooter, and um, as you can see, there's no back pocket, it just has this front flap here, and it has these a tubular strap that is sewn into the side. Okay, uh, if you open it up. Under the flap, you have a front uh, slip pocket. And then you have, I'll unstuff it a little bit, you have a, a deep pocket there. So plenty big enough to carry phone and keys and wallet. Um, and it's a small bag, but it, it carries a lot. So uh, I don't know if you noticed, this strap is not adjustable, but here's a little tip for me. Um, you can make the strap adjustable by doing what I had done with the strap and that's I cross it over and then I just close it up, okay? And I recommend you storing your bag like that. Um, if not, excuse me, if not, you know, completely storing the strap inside the bag, rolling it up and storing it inside the bag, but at least um, cross it over like that because this is an area for potential weakening, and then in fact, in this bag, it already is a little weakened. I mean, this should be a lot stiffer. It kind of should stand straight up, but uh, probably because it wasn't stored properly, you know, it kind of flops over. So to prevent your bags from doing that, if you happen to get one that is in good condition or just to keep it from getting any worse, I mean, that the stitching could end up coming um, over time, pulled, if, pulled on if, you know, it continues to pull there, whatever. Anyways, um, but yeah, so by crossing that over though, you kind of make the strap um, adjustable, right? Maybe it's just two sizes, but it does shorten it a little bit. And I do like it, this one a little bit more shortened. So that's what it looks like with my shortened strap. We'll go ahead and make it long. I'm gonna show you. Sorry, my um, that's kind of what it looks like, right? Great. Okay, I'm gonna cross that strap back over. So, and we'll get into the small side pack. Again, small side pack, ninety nine seventy eight. Oh my gosh, I love this bag so much. So. Again, it does have the stone and strap as well. It does have an adjustable strap though. And it has this thick, beautiful strap that is finished leather on both sides. It has this cute little slip pocket here in the back. It's not, it's deep, but it's not really that wide. Um, if you put a phone in there, it's gonna stick out. So you could do that, but you could probably more so hold things like gum, candy, other snacks. Uh, 
a uh, key wallet, one of my favorite accessories. So, excuse me. <coughs> mm. Sorry. So, okay, you open up the flap, and what you have is basically uh, just a big deep pocket with one little slip pocket in there. So, a little bit of a division, but it's a nice big deep pocket. No flap under, or no um, pocket under the flap. So, yeah, that is your small side pack. And just to note, there is a um, regular side pack that looks just like this bag. It's just larger. And that is style number 9979. So it's wider. Um, is it wider? But anyways, I don't have one. Hmm. But same straps, same adjustability, same pocket in the back. It's just a bigger bag and just as cute. So if you like the looks of it, but you wanted something bigger, that's an option. Um, the, what was I gonna say? Um, oh yeah, I wanted to kind of talk to you because I have both of these bags here about the leather. And, you know, I think I got this bag first. I don't know, but I, um, this bag, I was like, oh, it's so soft, it's so lovely. But then you compare it to this one and this one is just so buttery and so much softer. and. I mean, they're both really great leathers, but they're both very different. And interestingly, these are both made in 1996 and they're both made in the USA. As you might know, Coach makes bags or Coach has had bags made in all sorts of countries. Never Korea. You see a made in Korea bag. It is fake 100%. So keep that in mind. I'm going to do a video on some like really quick, fast tips on how to recognize a fake, fake bag you know, authenticating is, is a whole science I'm realizing and it's going to take time and it takes time to really learn it. But, um, there are some tips that you can, um, put in your pocket. If you're somebody who likes to look or, um, and shop for coach bags, there's some tips that you can put in your pocket to recognize a fake really quick. So anyways, back to this. Um, yeah, the leather is different, but they are both USA made. One is factory C and one is factory D. I don't know where those factories are, but very different leather. I mean, they're different bags too, but same year. Anyways, interesting to me. So yeah, I'm hoping to do a little bit more comparison on leather and how they feel um, maybe with some similar bags in different countries because I've got a lot of bags. So, so I think I could do that. Okay, so thanks for watching. If you liked my video, please give me a thumbs up and I'd appreciate it if you'd subscribe, maybe even leave a comment. If you have any questions, um, just wanna say something. If you have a video request, I really wanna put out more videos. I'm trying to find the time to do it. I have a lot of bags, um, a lot of maybe bags that aren't talked about a lot on YouTube. So I'd like to kind of put them out there so you can see them and you know, at least video form, what they might look like and against another person too. And uh, yeah, I wanna do more comparison videos, more rehab videos. Uh, so follow me and uh, maybe you'll get a notification that I put out a new video, all right? So thanks for watching, bye-bye.